we came to T-Force at Computex 2023 expecting to see plenty of memory. And there is indeed some memory here, just as you'd expect. This specifically is T-Force Extreme ARGB DDR5 8266. That's 32 gigabytes in dual channel, running on a Core i7. The RGB is very nice. However, Team Group is most excited about the heat spreaders. They say they are something special. And if we look at the back of the heat spreaders, we can see some finning designed obviously to shift heat. The thing is that DDR5, under the best circumstances, can easily hit 50 Celsius. They tell us that once you start pushing the speeds really high, like 8,000 or even heading towards 9,000, they tell us the temperatures can hit 80 Celsius, and that's just too hot. So they need to work as hard as possible on the cooling. Whilst not forgetting the ARGB lighting, of course. In addition to sophisticated and fast memory, we have liquid coolers. There's a lot of cooling here at Team Group. A lot of which is for SSDs. Gen 5 SSDs can run to 100 Celsius if you put them under extreme load. And Team Group is working on the solutions for this. We've got here a number of active air coolers and also a regular common or garden passive cooler. So the cooler bottom right is standard. The one bottom left has a little fan on the back of it. That's why it has a cable. And then we can see the active cooling on the two at the top of the shot. Moving to the left here, we have liquid cooling for SSDs. But one of them is a combo job that cools both CPU and SSD. And the cooler beneath that is purely SSD. The RGB module pops off and pops on. It might not be obvious what we're looking at here. It's downdraft cooling for your RAM. And here is that SSD cooler in glorious isolation. That's a lot of hardware for a tiddly little M.2 SSD. But these days the power requirements and the cooling for SSDs are significant. And here we have a PC showing both the air cooling on the RAM and also air cooling on the SSD. Moving down the line we have T-Force M.2 SSDs, Cardia Z4 and Cardia Z5 which, as you'd think, are indeed Gen 4 and Gen 5 SSDs. Interestingly, I asked about the controllers that they're using in their SSDs, expecting to hear Fizon, and they said, nope, we don't discuss that. Here we have some more conventional DDR5, they're elite, and the familiar Delta memory. Existing products in SSDs, we've got some new camera SD cards, and some USB flash drives. And here we have DDR5 memory for workstations in black, in white, and somewhat unexpectedly, workstation memory in pink. I did not expect that when I first visited Team Group. Signing off with a shot of this RGB SSD. If ever there was an unnecessary use of RGB, I think this is truly it. And now we're signing off from T-Force at Computex 2023.